Alrighty guys, lucky last for this week. Topic 4, question 5. Uh, cascaded amplifiers. Uh, it's actually a lot easier than what I initially thought. Uh, I, I will give kudos to Denise Tang for helping me out in this one and letting me realize that it's not too bad. Alright, we'll get started on this example here. The first thing you want to do um, when looking at your diagram is finding out which terminals the input is going into for each amplifier because that's how the uh, Mathematica file uh, identifies them. So for this example here we have uh, the input going into the negative terminal and that follows through to the positive terminal on the second amplifier. Now we've got our equations here for um, inverting and non-inverting. The equation for gain for uh, non-inverting is and for our inverting it is where RG is the grounded resistor and RF is the feedback resistor. In this particular example here, we have R3 being the feedback in the first op amp and, R and R4 being the grounded one that is into the input but still technically grounded through that. And in the second op amp, we have R1 being the feedback resistor and R2 being the grounded resistor. And basically, cascading amplifiers just multiply these two gains together. So what you end up having is uh, form our, we've got a negative to positive. So we have to have this one multiplied by this one with the appropriate values. So I'll start just going negative uh, R3 on R4 multiplied by 1 plus R1 on R2 and that would be sufficient enough you can simplify it further but I'm fairly sure Web Tutor will allow you to do something to this simplicity and now once we once we have our equation here we'll identify we've identified which one goes negative to positive we check our mathematical file that's number three we choose number three so that the switch can choose the correct uh, equation for it and then shift oh god damn it <sighs> here this happens you all this Yep, and negative fifty three point five two nine four should be our volts per volt. We try. <sighs> All right. Important note: <laughs> make sure that your <laughs> resistor values are the uh, correct ones. Otherwise, yeah, you'll just balls it up like I just did. So basically, our RF is twenty four thousand. Our G is a two hundred. RF2 is 82,000 and RG2 is 5,600. Put it in like that, we can put it in. You can already see that's the same, but why not put it in 100%? No worries. Alright, now next example here. Let me just get rid of this. We can see here that the the first op amp the input goes into the positive terminal and then that follows through into the second op amp in the positive terminal so we have a positive positive configuration which would be number two we'll just do that now for the hell of it the actual equation itself will be written like this one plus r1 on r2 one plus R3 on R4 yeah 
Nice and simple, just like that. And this time we'll actually put in our values. Age okay, cool. Sixteen hundred. And hopefully I haven't balls it up again this time. Not hundred percent, no worries. So we have so far done uh, third configuration, second configuration, we'll try and get a positive and negative one now. <laughs> Lucky me. Alright, so this particular one is a, if we look at it, it's a positive going to negative, so that we'll start with our positive one, one plus R3 on R4, and this R1 on R2, okay, that'll be enough again. Basically, you'll only ever have two different types of uh, equations because because they multiply each other. Yeah, you yeah, you can have them back to front or whatever; they'll still be the same. I really don't need four, but just so you know which ones you're actually using and you can identify them. I'll put it that way. All right, so we have one plus R three on R four. Negative R1 on R2, and that's our positive to negative, so it's 2, uh, 1, sorry, 16,000 for our RF1, 1, 1, one for our RG, RF2 is 91, and RG2 is 2K. That is a huge negative number, but it's right anyway. Um, I don't think I should have to do the last one, but I'll generate it just in case any of you are having problems with it. Nope. Uh, here we go, nice and easy. Okay, so we have a, we got a negative terminal in the first op amp to a negative terminal in the second op amp, so we're going to use two sets of this one. Yeah, they'll just be multiplied by each other, so I'm going to ignore the negative sign. What you end up getting is R4 on R2 times R3 on R1, or as WebTutor will simplify it, R4 times R3, R2 times R1. And that's our fourth configuration. 51K, 1800, 33K, yep, 850, oh, nice round number. Plug in those and we get 100%. Okay, guys, that shouldn't, that really isn't that hard. And you'll notice if you've gone through all this, when you start doing it yourself, yeah, you're just pretty much using these two equations here, mixing and matching, making sure you've got the resistors in the right place. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll be putting up topic five the beginning of the next week. So look out for that and good luck.